Yo, what up? It's Read Your Mind from Urban RCLA, and I, I thought I'd take another moment just to show you another TTO1 build of mine that I'm really proud of. Uh, many of you know I'm a big fan of Porsche, and in fact, the first to me I bought was a TTO2, which was the Porsche Carrera RSR, which I did a custom blue and red stripe. Uh, if you want to check that out, that's on the channel as well. I think there's a whole build series about that. Uh, but this is the uh, the other one. This is the uh, the mobile Porsche Designs VIP car, TTO1. Uh, I think it's badass. And when I was looking at the sticker kit after I painted it, I was like, you know what? You really got to have the stickers on it because these decals are really great looking. I mean, I just can't see it looking as cool as just the black that I painted it. But um, you can see here that I, I installed the, the LED light kit um, that came with it. There actually aren't enough LEDs in the kit to fill up all the available spaces. As you can see from the back, I actually had to add in a couple of more just to, to, to complete it out to some degree. I'm still missing a couple here, uh, but I'll certainly get those filled in later. Uh, but just a heads up on that, when you get the LED with the kit, it doesn't have all the available LEDs that you'll need to fill out the entire light bar set. Um, you can see that the rims are a little bit different. I went with the rims that come on uh, the Vatera uh, Nissan GTR because they're, they're, I think, six mil in the front and 10 mil in the back. And I really think on Porsches, you really need to have that extra wide wheel in the back to really give it that thick monster sort of, uh, uh, you know, muscle car sort of look. Uh, but anyway, I think it turned out really, really great. Uh, I'm going to show you the underside just so I can show you how I did the wiring uh, and see how I got it all laid out. Um, so let's open it up and let's see, let's have a look. So basically, you can see here, the actual LED kit comes with this really cool connector, which is just like a, a splice between the battery and the ESC, which makes it really easy to install. A lot of other the LED kits, you have to go directly into one of the available slots in the, in the uh, receiver. But I thought that was pretty cool. It's a pretty neat little way. I wish every LED kit was like this. It's pretty simple. And then you can see here, it's actually got its own um, LED controller, which basically, you know, it really is just on and off. Um, but I think it's, it looks pretty good. I wrapped it with some electrical tape to keep it all neat and tidy under there. Um, you see it was pretty easy. And in the chassis, I basically have the Futaba R203GF. It's a three channel receiver. Um, I switch between Futaba and Spectrum because I have a 4PL that I really like. Uh, and I also have another Spectrum, uh, what is it, the DX4S. Um, that one I like a lot too, but when I'm racing with my buddies, I want to make sure that I have some cars that are on the Futaba and some that are on the Spectrum, so just makes it a little bit of a competition, see who's better with what controllers and whatnot. But anyway, I also use the uh, Traxxas uh, waterproof steering servo. I just think those are great servos and they're super cheap. You can get like two of them for 30 bucks. It's just crazy. But overall, I really like the design. I think it came out really great. Uh, I'm wondering if you guys think I should upgrade it by putting on any aluminum pieces or if you have any ideas about how I can make it even better, uh, obviously leave it in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I uh, really appreciate it when you guys subscribe and tune into the videos I make. And anyways, that's the uh, TTO1 uh, Carrera Porsche build. This is Read Your Mind, Urban RCLA. I'm out.